everybody, this is Andrew from Kite Army. Welcome back. Today I have a video to share with you. I put together this kit that's sold by Makeblock. It's their camera slider. So I got the kit and it had all the parts, which was excellent, but none of the instructions. So I kind of had to work through it, look online, find a few resources. So I decided I'd put together a video for you if you buy this kit. Now, the reason why I wanted the camera slider is because it gives such a neat angle as it slowly controlled moves the camera along on this bar. Now you can set the speed and set the way the bar behaves and this camera slider behaves. You can program it, so that's a lot of fun. But let me show you why these videos look awesome. All right, now that you've seen a sample video, you understand why camera sliders are so nice. Um, in this video, what I'm gonna do is show you how to put the kit together and some of the modifications that I made to the Make Block camera slider. You're gonna love it. Let's get into the project. So if you order the Make Block camera slider online, you're gonna find out that it actually comes with a lot more pieces than you need to assemble the slider, which is great. So you can lose some pieces or use them for another project. The tools you'll need is basically a Phillips head screwdriver, a flat headed screwdriver. I use needle nose pliers, but you can use standard pliers, a 2.5 millimeter Allen key, and a really tiny Allen key that you're gonna to need to do things like install the set screw on the pinion gear. When you receive your kit, it will come with one long bar and all the other parts you need to assemble to it. The nice thing about this bar is you can screw in so many different directions. It's a really versatile bar. So first thing, put on your foot. Now you might have to play with a few washers here because the screws for the return of the camera slider up here kind of cross each other there. So I had to add a few extra washers to push them out so I could fit them in. So that's what you want the end of the camera slider to look like without the motor on it. So assembling the return for the dry belt is a little tricky. Let me show you how it's done. First, you need to get one of these shafts uh, and you can see there's a flat side to the shaft. That's where the set screws will attach. Set it about at about half, quarter to half inch deep. Next, get one of the bearings. Now, you'll notice the bearings has a little lip on one side. You might not be able to see it on the video. Slide that on and that stays loose, okay? Now that will fit in to the one side of the um, mount here. Now slowly slide that into there and push it through. Now again with the bearing, make sure the lip is on the outside. That's what lets it sit really nicely into the holder here, or the mount. Okay, slip that on, and then slip on your collar. Once you've got it all assembled, get this in the center, find the flat part of the shaft here, and tighten up the screw. To assemble your slider mount, the first thing you wanna do is insert nuts in each one of these prefabricated uh, locations. You can see there should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them on that side. You'll also have a few on the other side and that's to mount the actual bearing. Now you'll see the bearing kit comes with the bearing, the bolt, and a little bushing. Make sure you get all of those installed. And insert your bearing with bushing into there. Get it installed in the rail position. And then screw down those guides. The next step is to mount your motor mount. And that's this L bracket right here, this blue L bracket. And it then screws into the side of the main slider bar right in the center. There's a threaded piece. Use three of your short screws to accomplish that. Once that's installed, you actually can screw the motor into the mount right here using Phillips head screws, and then put the pinion drive on with the set screw right there. Now you're gonna make sure you want these brass standoff installed. Next, get your belt and slip your mount below the belt. That completes the assembly of the slider. So I opted to mount my board to the end of the camera slider. You can do that as well. I 
I use two screw holes down on the bottom of the board here and here. Now to get your motor controller set up, you actually need to install the driver. Here's the driver chip and just follow the orientation, the yellow to yellow and red to red and put it on there. That's port one. Then you need to attach your motor to that same location. Here's your controller port board. You can see there's four ports on here, five, six, seven, eight. Five is a different port, so don't use that. You can use six, seven, or eight. I used eight. Just easily, gently put this on. There's tons of pins underneath there. Make sure you align this really carefully and insert it with very light pressure. I also attached a connection to power my board over here. So I use adhesive tape and attach that to the top of my motor. Each one of these buttons I set at a different speed and I only ran the carriage in one direction. So the next part of this video is gonna save you a lot of time and frustration. Basically the kit comes with a little power pack that looks like this. It can accommodate six double A's. The problem that I discovered and I didn't know what my problem was is once I powered on my circuit board, I could see everything look good. I would push one of my buttons and either the motor would stutter or would go a little bit and stop. So I discovered that this battery pack doesn't really have enough power. That's when I decided that a rechargeable battery pack would be uh, the best solution and I connected it this way to my system. This is a 9.6 volt battery pack with 1800 milliamps. These are readily available. So the way that I programmed my camera slider is that I have each of these buttons programmed to a different speed. I have to set the carriage all the way to the left here and I can push any of these buttons to control how quickly the slider moves along. The final step to building your camera slider is actually programming your controller board. Now the way you do this is go to makerblock.com and download mBlock software right here. You can install this on your PC, your iPad, or your MacBook. Now the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is plug your MegaPi with the USB cable into your computer. Once you've done that, go to connect and hit serial port, and over here you'll see something that says COM1, select that. Next, you actually have to define what board you're using. You're using the MegaPi Ultimate 2, select that. Once you do that, you'll see over here on the left side, a few options to control and program the board will become available to you. I built a program, it's right here. Basically what it does is assign the four keys to a certain speed. The distance I've always set to 50,000, but I've changed the speed that the carriage will travel along the slider. When you're done with that, hit upload to Arduino and it will push that program into your MegaPi. Well, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, check out all my awesome content, and I'll see you guys real soon.